Okay, this is Dr. Howard Rosenthal back with 21 more exam fundamentals of counseling at warp speed. These amazing hints can raise your comprehensive exam score fast by just teaching you some bite-sized bits of information. This is the second video in my Learning Counseling Exam Fundamentals at Warp Speed. So if you haven't watched the original version, get on it, do it today. All right, let's swing into action. One, John Holland created the RIASEC acronym, that's R-I-A-S-E-C, for career counseling, in which six personality types can be linked to job interest types that will provide satisfaction. Counselors who use this model often advise clients to take the self-administered SDS, or self-directed search. Number two, Donald E. Super, known for his lifespan career development theory, composed of life stages and life roles. The roles include child, student, leisure right, citizen, work, parent, spouse, and homemaker. He is the theory behind, theorist actually behind the career rainbow. Three, Robert Wu Bolding, a major proponent of reality therapy with choice theory. Number four, moving right along, Dr. John Pratt, a pioneer in the group movement who in 1905 created a group for eight individuals with tuberculosis known as TB. Again, that's tuberculosis. You don't hear as much about it nowadays. Number five, Jesse B. Davis, often cited as the first vocational or school counselor in the U.S., working in the Michigan School District in the late 18 and 1900s. He took juniors in high school for tours at vocational sites to help them with future career decisions. Number six and seven. Jacob Marino and his wife, Zerka Marino, created an early form of group work known as psychodrama. Number eight, Eric Erickson, a really, really, really big name, okay, in human growth and development, proposed an eight-stage psychosocial developmental theory. Number nine, Abraham Maslow, who in 1943 proposed a hierarchy of needs where physiological and safety needs must be satisfied before moving up to higher needs, such as esteem or self-actualization, often displayed as a pyramid that was not mentioned in Maslow's seminal work. Number 10, Ivan Pavlov introduced us to classical, aka Pavlovian conditioning. This type of learning is often contrasted to B.F. Skinner's operant conditioning. 11, Jean Piaget, a Swiss psychologist, created a four-stage theory of cognitive development. Number 12, Robert Rosenthal, no relation to me, is the psychologist behind the Rosenthal fact in which one person's expectations of another become a self-fulfilling prophecy can also be called the Pygmalion effect. All right, number 13, Carl Whitaker, a key figure in exper experiential family therapy. 14, Stanley Milgram, 
is best known for his famous but ethically controversial obedience to authority study in social psychology. 15. Leon Festinger introduced cognitive dissonance. Having two opposing beliefs creates emotional tension and this leads people to change or alter one of the beliefs. 16 and 17. Joseph Luft and Harrington Ingham joined their first names in 1955 to create Joe Harry's Window. That's J-O-H-A-R-I. This was a self-awareness tool emphasizing factors known and unknown to the self and others. 18. Carl Gauss, G-A-U-S-S, a German mathematician, pops up on exams. Since the normal bell-shaped or Gaussian curve is named after him. 18. Josef Breuer, that's B-R-E-U-E-R, an Austrian physician, worked with Freud on the famous Anna O. case and the talking cure, and this morphed into psychoanalysis. Number 19. John Locke, that's L-O-C-K-E, viewed the mind as a blank slate or what your exam might refer to as tabula rasa, often cited in the history of behaviorism. 20. Tatiana Tarasov, a 20-year-old Berkeley student who was murdered by a fellow student. Her death led to the well-known Tarasov court decision resulting in a duty to warn and later duty to protect an intended victim. Thus, breaking confidentiality became ethical, legal, and required for counselors in situations where a client is going to hurt themselves, others, or both. 21. Carol Gilligan was a major critic of Lawrence Kohlberg's theory of moral development. Okay, listen to this material several times. It is always intended to be used with my exam prep materials, the Encyclopedia Counseling, the Human Services, and the Master Lecture Series book. By the way, big announcement. The Master Lecture Series book should have an audible audio edition with professional narration out by approximately May 2024. And last, remember, have a great day the Encyclopedia of Counseling way.